The more knowledge one attains, the more haughty and arrogant he becomes. Such a person's knowledge is not beneficial. His heart is empty and his company is heavy to bear. The more he increases in deeds, the more proud he becomes, and the more contemptuous he becomes of others. He doesn't give the benefit of the doubt to anyone except to his own self. Thus he deems that he is the only one who achieves salvation while all, all others are bound for destruction. The older he gets, the more avarice and cupidity, cupidity become part of his character. He gathers, but he never shares calamities, and misfortune fails to move him into becoming a benefactor to others. The wealthier he becomes, the more miserly he becomes with his money. The higher his position in society, the higher his level of arrogance and haughtiness. The Prophet, peace, blessings and peace be upon him, said, The arrogant ones will be gathered on the day of judgment in the form of small ants. People will trample on them with their feet. E in each of the points discussed above, I mentioned some of Allah's favours favors by which he attests his, he tests his slaves. Some of those slaves will pass the test while others will fail it. Oh. Being blessed with honor is also a test. If one is endowed with power, honor, status, rank or wealth, he must realize that he is being tested. When Prophet Suleiman Solomon saw the throne of Bilkis, Queen of Sheba, brought before him, he said, This is by the grace of my Lord to test me whether I am grateful or ungrateful. Thus Allah gives a blessing to see who accepts it properly by being thankful for it, by preserving it and by taking advantage of it in a good way and to see who denies it by not being thankful, by wasting away the favour, or even by using it to wage war against the one who, give, who gave it to him in the first place. We must understand, therefore, that blessings are trials from Allah. It is through trials that the gratitude of the grateful person becomes revealed, while the ingrate becomes exposed that we must remember that Allah tests us in good times as well as in bad times. As for man, when his Lord tries him by giving him honor and gifts, then he, he says, puffed up, my Lord has honored me, but when he tries him by straightening his means of life, he says, my Lord has humiliated me, nay, the enduring treasures the real treasures are those that are that one takes with him to the hereafter, Islam, Iman, faith, righteous deeds, jihad, struggling or fighting to, in the cause of Allah. And repentance are all examples of such enduring treasures. It is not piety that you turn your faces towards east or west. In prayers, piety is the quality of the one who believes in Allah. The last day, the angels, the book, the prophets, and gives his wealth in spite of love for it, who gives it to the king's folk, to the orphans, to the poor, to the wayfarer, to those who ask and to set slaves free. Piety is also the, track, the quality of the one who performs the prayer and gives the alms charity and who fulfill their covenant when they make it, and who are patient in extreme poverty and ailment, disease, and at the time of fighting during the battles. Such are the people of the truth, and they are al the pious and righteous persons. Determination can overcome insurmountable barriers. When someone is possessed of great dis determination, he can, by the will of Allah, climb to great heights of virtue among the characteristics of a Muslim is that he not only has high and noble aims but also has strong determination because determination is the fuel that propels 
what your higher virtues and determination by the will of Allah will bring great good to you. People will see you as one who is learning, doing good deeds, working for higher aims, or basically one who is achieving. Do not, however, fall into the error of confusing determination with arrogance between the two lies, a distance as great as that between the sky and earth. When one has strong determination, one lose every missed opportunity, and therefore he is one who is constantly goading himself onto the reach to his goal. Strong determination is a characteristic of those that are righteous, just and disinsert, while arrogance is a sickness that is pre predominant among tyrants and wretched people. Determination carries one, to up, one upwards, while arrogance makes one fall, dragging its victim down to the depths of ignominy. O oh, students of knowledge, remain steadfast and resolute in the path that you are upon, and do not falter. Reading in order to learn wisdom, an activity that brings joy to the soul, is to read and contemplate the sayings of the wise, the foremost of them being Prophet Muhammad. Others can no, in no way be compared to him, for he was supported by revelation, confirmed by miracles. He is sent to us with clear signs. And when I am ill, it is he who cures me. And when I am ill, it is he who cures me. Here are some bits of advice that have been passed down to us from the wise regarding different issues. Say, stay healthy longer by working hard, by avoiding laziness, by abjuring drinking, and by refraining from eating too much. Some of the wise said, whoever wants health should eat properly and well. He should drink water moderately, lying down after eating lunch, and walking after dinner are recommended, and one should be wary about taking a shower right after filling oneself with food. Whoever wants to stay and there is no true stay, meaning life is transient and will be come to an end, should eat lunch and dinner early. Five things weaken the body and at times can even prove to be fatal, to be poor, to be to part with loved ones, to drink sour things, to refuse advice and to not only be ignorant but to also laugh at the wise. Four things weaken the body, talking too much, sleeping too much, eating too much and engaging in sexual intercourse too frequently. Talking too much weakens the strength and sharpness uh, of the mind and makes one age faster. Sleeping too much blinds the heart, making one lazy and colourless. Having intercourse too often weakens one's strength and has harmful effects upon the body in general. Four things destroy the body, anxiety, grief, hunger and sleeplessness.